Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Hey, sis, let me show you something about the Bible. So, you seem to be pretty knowledgeable, so let me come, come, let me deal with you. You know a lot. You've been, you've been doing some research. Yeah, my time. All right, so let me show you. Let me show you something about the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Hey, ma'am, let me show you something about the Bible. Let me give you one law to just show that how we can get ourselves closer with God. All right, listen up. Jill, you ready? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out! The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a woman is not supposed to wear that pertains to a man. Right, women are supposed to wear dresses. Can they wear shorts? They're not supposed to. So, so you're going to put a dress on, Jill? You do. No, you gotta do it every day. Oh, no. but every day, I don't do it every day. Whoa. But you know what? I did it. You're gonna be judged for that. But I did it all 12 years. So I, if I don't stay in the dress, do you wanna live? Do you wanna live? You wanna make it to the kingdom of heaven, Jill? I've been out there with you. Come on, I talk to him. No, I'm no, no. Young. I'm saying you. Do you want to be in the kingdom hey, of heaven when you... He's not judge, Who not judge? I'm not judging. I'm trying to help you. No, that's not in the Bible. Where is that? I thought it was. That's not in there. I read it once. No, you did not. You did not read that in the Bible. That's not in there. He don't judge nobody. What are you talking about? The Bible tells us to change, right? What does it mean to repent? As you are. Why well, do I want well, this? You know what? I don't have money for stores. I don't have money for stores. I don't get one. You got. But don't make excuses, Jim. Find out solutions. Don't make excuses. So give me, give me Zephaniah chapter one verse eight. Don't make excuses. All right. Come up with ways to be able to do it. If you had to go to the thrift shop, you had to make it yourself. Whatever you gotta do in order to to keep God's law. Do you love? You tell me where you that. know you know what it's like. So I've been in New York for How long you been here? Six months. Sis, you can find a thrift shop. You can find a store, as many stores. You know you find income buy it. You said what? So it says, look, come on. I'm gonna find somebody. I'm gonna find somebody who does donations. Yeah, find some. Don't make find solutions. You hey listen. You can do it if you want to do it, right? So if you know it's a sin to do it, you're going to be judged for that, right? He is, let me show you. Because it's strange for a woman to wear shorts. Read what you got. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and, and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Read it again. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. So what's the day of the Lord's sacrifice? No. That's a good, good guess. And it's talking about the day of judgment. On the day of judgment, right? This is when Christ is going to return. And this is what's going to happen, right? That I will punish the princes and the king's children. We are the king's children. Read. And all such 
as are clothed with strange apparel. So it's strange apparel you have on now. You will be punished. You're gonna be put to death for that. God is not with cross dressing. You understand? If I had a dress on, would it be out of order for me to have a dress on? This not a dress. I got on pants. You see my pants. I'm saying. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna lay down and take my clothes off. I'm gonna be cursed. This is not a joke. We out here trying to show. I'm being serious. Oh, yeah, I can't keep talking to you. Just you gotta go. I ain't got a dress hole, so I but no, you gotta. You need to learn. There's other things you need to learn. I'll come back when I got a dress This idol that you got on too. You're not supposed to have a cross on. What's the cross represent? Their version of God. Their image of God. What's the cross represent? You gotta throw it away. What you gonna keep it for? God told us not to make to make any image. Right? Right. 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 Go back to chapter 2, verse 18. What property did the grave it in it? I told you I ain't got the right clothes on. That's okay, but I'm just, I'm just telling you to get yourself right. It's all right to hear God in this court. We out here trying to show you how to get right. Do you want to know how to get right? I know, so I'm going to go home and get right. Do you know how to get It's more than just wearing a dress. What else? What else? That's what I'm about to show you. I'm hungry. Read. Rebecca chapter 2, verse 18. What profited the graven image that the maker thereof hath graven it? The molten image and a teacher of lies. What is it? What's the profit of that cross you got on your neck? What is it profit? I don't know. You tell me. Nothing is worthless. Says the teacher of lies. Ah. Right. That came with this, right? White Jesus came with the cross. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is family. 